They are the haunting last images of a 24-year-old woman just starting out in life. She appears to be stumbling. Is she hurt? Could she be intoxicated? The time is 11.45 p.m. Friends and family of Jacqueline Elmquist began searching for her, posting this missing person poster with this description, height 5 foot 3, weight 120 pounds. It said she was last seen getting into a yellow cab at Catch Steakhouse in Manhattan, where she had attended a company party. The next afternoon, Jacqueline Elmquist was found dead at the bottom of a garbage chute at a high-rise apartment building on West 28th Street. It turns out she had wandered into this building in the fancy Chelsea neighborhood of Manhattan, but she doesn't live there, nor does she know anyone in the building. Here's what's so perplexing. How did Jacqueline end up in the incinerator room of the 13-story luxury doorman building? She had to open the chute, somehow climb inside, and then presumably fell to her death. How is that even possible? Was she so drunk she didn't know what she was doing? Police say there is no evidence of foul play. I mean, it's obvious to, to you, to the public, to anybody reading this story, it feels like it's carbon copy. Remarkably, Talia Prahadko's sister Laura died the same way five years ago. Police said Laura was intoxicated and fell 27 stories inside the trash chute of her building. But the family says they are 100% certain that she was murdered. Here we are five years later, we don't have any answers. She believes her sister's case and that of Jacqueline Elmquist both need to be fully investigated as potential homicides. It's really hard as a woman um, and as her sister and as a mother of daughters to just see how it's so easy to just literally, literally dispose of a woman.